What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have the civilian medical gear kit from Medical Gear Outfitters. And of course, there is a link down. You know where to Medical Gear Outfitters. So if you have, they have a bunch of pre built kits if you want to make it easy, like I did, and get a pre built kit, you can do so. They also sell the separate components if you want to build or restock your kit. And they also have like a lot of blog type information, free, good, high quality info. Get the knowledge. The knowledge is where it's at. Uh, there's also a discount code medical gear outfitters was nice enough to pass on a discount code to you boys and girls the code is tiberius it will save you 10 percent on anything you buy at medical gear outfitters and if you don't know medical gear outfitters is owned by skinny medic a fellow youtuber great dude and i'll uh, put a link to his channel down below again putting out a lot of free high quality information i definitely think he's worth a follow um, i'm going to go over all of the stuff that's in the bag and my opinions on this stuff in no way am i telling you how to or not to use it because i am not a trained medical professional even though i've had a fair amount of medical training i am not a doctor i just play one on youtube all right the bag itself is very high quality it's made by vanquest i'm sure most of you know who vanquest is uh very high quality bags that they put out uh, available in four different colors. If you don't like the gray, you have a bunch of Velcro on the front and it comes with a cool guy skinny medic patch. And by far, that is my favorite part of this bag. You have a bunch of Molly as well if you want to hang ac accessories on there or hang it on a bag or a Molly panel, whatever. On the, on the side here, you have a bunch of stretchy uh, elastic material. On one side, it comes with a set of trauma shares, which is very good for cutting clothing or a seatbelt, whatever. On the other side here, you have a Sharpie if you need to take notes or write on something and you have a cat tourniquet now in my opinion i think the cat tourniquet is the best all around tourniquets tourniquet all tourniquets have pros and cons of course you need to stage this correctly please don't leave it in the packing if you need to get a tourniquet on someone seconds could matter maybe maybe not not worth taking the chance um, when you pull it out it needs to be 100 percent ready to go not like that stuck to itself where with one hand you can put it on tighten down the velcro and get right to work all right, as I open this bad boy up, and there is, it is a quick pull lever as you see here, and there's some Velcro on the top, but as I open it up, I need to quickly thank the biggest supporter of this channel, not just shooting and outdoors, hunting, fishing, pew pew, accessories, optics, reloading, all that good stuff. The link is obviously you know where. Now my shirt. I wore this shirt on purpose because I really wanted to drive home the importance of knowledge. All this cool guy gear that we are going over today is useless if you don't have the knowledge to put it to work. Same thing with your pew pew. You can have the coolest pew pew in the world if you don't have legit training on how to use it, it's kind of worthless. So get fit or die is kind of the same idea. You could have all the cool guy accessories in the world, but if you're not fit enough to protect yourself, protect your loved ones, use the gear, whatever, in my opinion, you're missing the point. Doesn't mean you need to be like the most fit guy in the world, but can you run a mile at least? Can you do basic fitness stuff? Anyway, the shirt's made by TriStar Trading. Link down, you know where. Again, they have a ton of cool designs. If you don't like this and you're offended by what I'm saying, they have a lot of Pro Freedom Pro 2A designs. All right, getting in the bag. First thing we're going to pull out is a survival blanket. Something you wrap around yourself, helps keep the heat in, soaks up the sun. It's bright silver material. Um, helps when in a cold environment or a wet environment. Gecko grip, this is gonna be tape. If you have a pres pressure dressing or some sort of bandage or whatever, uh, it's sticky tape that you can use. On the right side of the bag, there is some pre compressed gauze. Man, words are hard today from North American Rescue. Um, it's gonna be good to control bleeding, pack wounds, absorbent, anything like that. And I know it looks really small, but this thing is very, very compressed and it gets pretty big. In the middle, you have a SWAT tourniquet. Let me see if I remember this. SWAT stands for stretch, wrap, and tuck tourniquet. Nailed it. Um, besides using it as a tourniquet, it can also be used as a pressure dressing or a sling. There's a lot of cool things you can do with a SWAT tourniquet. And why I think the cat is my favorite all-around tourniquet, the SWAT tourniquet works a little better with really small limbs. So if you have small kiddos or dogs or something like that, the SWAT tourniquet can be wrapped around any size limb where the full-size cat that can be a little bit tough. Uh, next in here is some rolled gauze. And this is some quick clot. Again, words, quick clot uh, gauze. So if you, again, if you have someone's bleeding and you need to pack that wound, the quick clot gauze, <laughs> wow, uh, has um, um, stuff inside there that's gonna, uh, it's a hemostatic dressing. It's gonna help stop or slow down uh, bleeding and uh, uh, clot the blood. 
Words, words, words. A nasal airway. It's pre-lubed, goes down the nose. If someone has an obstructive uh, um, throat and they're not breathing, this will help them breathe. Stick that down there and something about that makes my nose twinge and ugh, but again, better than dying. All right, this is a pressure bandage. I'm gonna butcher the name. It's O-L-A-E-S. I'm not gonna try to say it because with my accent, it's gonna sound really, really awful. But um, there's a, there's, it's a pressure dressing with a cup inside and you put the cup right over the wound and it helps keep a little extra pressure on that wound. And uh, there's other brands that do it similar, like there's an H bandage and there's a whole bunch of other ones, but you put the cup on the wound, it helps keep pressure on there and hopefully control the bleeding a little bit better. Chest seal. So what a chest seal does, if someone has a puncture wound on the trunk, especially near the lungs, you put the chest seal around it and it, it seals up that puncture wound. You know, gunshot is always the most common example. Um, there's two of them in here, obviously, because you may have to put one on the front and the back. So you tourniquet limbs, you chest seal, the trunk, and uh, again, if you don't have the knowledge to do so, it's pointless. Uh, in the front, I forgot to mention that there are two pairs of gloves in here, and yes, if I'm going hands-on with someone I don't know, if it's my wife or kids, whatever, but if it's someone I don't know, yes, I'm gonna take the couple seconds to put the gloves on because people are nasty, you never know, and uh, yeah, I don't wanna die. All right, the price for all of this cool guy stuff is $165.99, and that is before you use the link, and the code Tiberius, which will save you 10%. And what's that? Saving you $16.50 maybe? I don't know. Once again, I want to stress to you, all the cool guy gear in the world is pointless if you don't have the knowledge on how to use it, especially in a stressful situation. So get the training that you need. I can't stress that enough. Pros of this kit. It's a very, very simple and easy kit. Like If you're like me and you just want it all done for you, I prefer to have a pre-built kit that has everything I need um, and it's all high quality stuff. There's no like Chinese knockoff cat tourniquet or anything like that. As a civilian, this has everything I need, everything my no that my knowledge will allow me to use. If you're a doctor or EMT, there's much bigger, better kits for you, but this is where my knowledge ends. So for me, this kit is absolutely perfect. I don't have any cons, high quality kit, fair price, plus the discount code helps you out. Overall, this would be perfect to leave in the car or put uh, on a go bag, get home bag, emergency bag, bag bag, whatever like that. You just need to make sure you keep the trauma kit gear close by. Again, when you need it, it can't be hidden in your trunk with your spare tire or at the bottom of the bag and you can't find it. Seconds could truly, truly matter. So make sure you can get it very, very quickly. For me, in my Bronco, I have Molly panels on the side of my center console. This is going to be on the passenger side where I can easily lean over, reach it, grab it, and go to work. You know, I think statistically we're a lot more likely to need medical gear, trauma gear, than we are our pew pews. And I think we, we all spend a lot of time worrying about the pew pew side of everything, which is important, we should, but being able to plug holes, I think is just as important, if not more important than making those holes. All right, let me thank Skinny Medic, Medical Gear Outfitters for supporting the channel. Very, very nice of them. Let me thank them for the discount code Tiberius for you to save you a few dollars. The biggest supporter of the channel, Nachez, Shirt, Get Fit or Die from TriStar. All of those links are down in the video description. Thank you guys for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, please subscribe to the channel. The likes and comments are great. They truly help, but I'm trying to grow to 50,000 subs. If you think I deserve it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Peace.